Today, we're gonna take a very brief look at prompt chaining inside of Raku. So I've been blogging like Seth Godin and I actually have created a website now that I'm gonna be blogging on the website like Seth Godin. This is just a personal domain that I've had for quite some time. And this was generated inside of Raku. And I wanna show you how we can run a prompt chain on the blogging like Seth Godin feature, and then we'll set it up. So essentially we just have to enter in a single word and we're gonna get an output like this. So that's pretty cool, I think. So let's enter in mindset as our demo, and then we'll click execute the prompt chain. And what it will do is generate a Seth Godin style blog title as well as the Seth Godin style outputs. Now I have two Seth Godin paragraphs just so that we can get a little variety here. The title, what you must. Your mindset is your compass. It determines the decisions you make, the actions you take, and the way you see the world. More importantly, it determines your attitude towards these things. Positive mindset can enable you to see the opportunity in every situation, to take risks, and to learn from your mistakes. A negative mindset limits your potential, keeps you trapped in your comfort zone, and leads to self-sabotage. That's quite good. I don't like the title here. I love this output. The good news is your mindset can be changed. It's not easy, but it's possible. All it takes is a shift in perspective and a willingness to try new things. Then we have Seth Godin's output number two, your mindset shapes your reality. If you believe that the world's a hostile place, you're going to live in a hostile world. If you think that people are out to get you, you'll find evidence to support that belief. So this one didn't do quite as well. Now I've trained this first model based on the video that I did here on YouTube. I love the outputs that it spits out. Then I took a few other blogs that Seth Godin's written and I've been working on training kind of the second model. So this exercise here, Let's me very quickly write a blog just like this that I'm gonna be doing daily, every single day. And now of course I'm not actually writing most of this. I'm just gonna be proofreading and making sure that this is something that I wanna say. If I wanted to take this and jump into Brainwork, I can highlight this and then go into the plagiarism feature. This is using Copyscape, so I can very quickly check that no plagiarism is found. It seems to be 100% original output. You know, even doing this each day, it takes less than five minutes. Still gonna be definitely a test of discipline. So hopefully this video brought you some value. Now I'm gonna come in here for create a new prompt chain, and I'm gonna say Seth Godin book planning, and we're just gonna go with a static prompt chain today. So let's go ahead and choose this prompt. So I've got a bunch of Seth Godin things here. Again, I'm trying to train different aspects, let's say, so that hopefully it all comes together so we can write a book similar to Seth Godin. Well, let's do the blog title just to keep things kind of consistent. So we'll go ahead and confirm the choice there. And then next we'll do the book outline, confirm and add a third prompt there. Let's go ahead and throw in our original Seth Godin. Prompt chains let you string together multiple modules within Raku. And then we'll do Seth Godin too. And then finally, let's just do Seth Godin titles. Not exactly sure what that one even is, but Seth Godin book planning. Now I can come in here, I can enter in a single word. So let's go ahead and put like viral marketing as the theme. So I'm gonna execute. What we should see here is that it's doing its thing and it's gonna put together five different modules. Now that's currently the cap, but you can stream together five different modules. Again, our keyword there was viral marketing. How to make people want your work is the blog title output. Then we have a book outline. The most important person to know the best way to reach them, how to start the viral method, why this works, the biggest mistakes of all, why email's not enough. There is some duplication there. So like the viral method's duplicated twice. Blog like Seth Godin, there's no such thing as viral marketing, at least not in the sense that most people think of it. You can't engineer a viral campaign any more than you can engineer a lightning strike, but you can create an environment in which virality is more likely. So this is very good. I love this feature. Some things go viral because they're funny or outrageous or heartwarming. Others go viral because they're useful. The best way to make something go viral is to make it so useful that people can't help but share it. So this right here, this missed the ball. Maybe this one I should have deleted. I'm not exactly sure why I had a separate Seth Godin title output. Now we can string together these prompt chains a million different ways, but I did wanna show you just very briefly today how I'm gonna use it to build out a blog. And if you wanna follow along, it's threepointscott.com. You can read, you know, I just started this yesterday. So this is the very basic framework that we're gonna start with, but we're gonna be building out, it's kind of my personal brand, let's call it, with mostly AI-based stuff. Drop this video a like if it brought you some value. My name is Scott with AI Profits, and we'll see you in the next one.